Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create an interactive button in InDesign. I'm going to begin by selecting my rectangle tool and making the shape of my button. Uh, let's do 320 by 140. And we can go to our fill and I'll just make my fill red and I will get rid of my stroke. And then I will also make my corners rounded. So now if I select my type tool and select inside the shape, I will just type button and I will align this to the center and change my fill to white. And I'll make the text size like 60. So now if I get my selection tool, select the button and then go to my text frame options. And then I'll select align and align this to center. And then I can click OK. So now with your button selected, you want to go to Window, Interactive, and then Buttons and Forms. Under Type, you want to select Button, and then you can name your button here, which is always a good idea. And then you can select your event. So whether it's clicked or released, rolled over, however you want your button to act. And then you can include your actions here. So um, go to first page, last page, you can include your URL. Um, all that type of stuff here. And then I will just select last page and I'll just do a rollover effect here. Let's do a lighter red um, or even an orange. And then for click, we can do a darker red. And I'll just, I'll include another page here. I'll include two pages so we can see which is the last page. So the button should be all good. On the second page, I'll just include um, a shape here with a color that we can distinguish. So the second page will be yellow. And then the last page, we can just make um, magenta. So now if we export our PDF, you want to make sure it's an interactive PDF and then let's just select save. So now if I click my button, you'll see that it goes to the magenta, which as we know is our third page. The rollover effect isn't working in just your standard interactive PDF. You would want to export this as um, an EPUB or however you want to pronounce that. That would allow you to have your your rollover effects. But yeah, that is how you can easily create an interactive button in InDesign. I hope this video helped. If it did, please hit subscribe and follow us on all of our social media to stay connected and never miss a new tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.